In this video, I'll show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.0 for iPhone 3Gs and iPod 2Gs. Uh, just a precaution, this is still a beta, so it might be a little glitchy, but it's working for me fine. And make sure, just in case, the 2G model you have is the old version. After that, I'll give you a link to the iPhone developer blog and under the all for one post on update one it gives you download links for red snow and depending on your operating system that's what you'll download so since I'm on a Mac I download Mac OS X and here it is on my desktop and the second thing you're going to do is download your firmware. I'm sure there's ways of finding it on your computer that when you downloaded it from iTunes, but to make it easy, you could go to this website. And right here on the bottom it has iOS 4. And you could just click one of these depending on your device. Or you could just scroll through and find your device. And click what you need to download. Make sure it's 4.0 slash 8A293. After that, you're going to open up Red Snow and make sure to turn off, no, just wait. Browse for the firmware you download and after it says IPSW successfully identified click next and I'll do all this stuff to get ready to jailbreak after this um, on personal preference I'm just gonna install Cydia enable multitasking enable home screen wallpaper and enable battery percentage all of these three things are features in ISO 4 that were only on the 3GS and the iPhone 4. Now you get them on your 2G iPod or your 3G iPhone. After that, click Next. And right here is, if your device is not already off, plug it into the computer first and make sure you quit out of iTunes and iPhone or any applications that open because you plugged it in and then hold the power button until you see the slider to turn it off and after that you slide to power off alright here's a tricky part get ready to hold the device in your hand make sure it's still plugged in and it is off and get ready we're about to press a series of buttons First you want to hold the power button for like 3 seconds and once that thing changes press the home button and the power button. Don't release it the power button. Hold it around for 10 seconds and then after it changes keep it held and then release the power button and keep on holding the home button until you see the picture that is on your screen you're going to keep it held down. So keep the home button held down until you see the picture on your screen. If you screw up, you could always retry it, but I usually get it my first try. But just keep your home button held down until you see the image that's on your screen. After that, Red Snow would ask you if you're finished, and you just click finish, and then you'll get this these images that on your screen right now first it would be that hard drive looking one and then it's going to be the pineapple and once these are finished I'll get back to you after you start your iPhone or iPod touch second generation you should have been jailbroken um, so if you double click the home button you should get this little window that pops up and you could put a uh, scroll through the left and see all the widgets and if you go to settings and you go to and you go to wallpaper 
you could now set the wallpaper and also in the top right corner of your the top right corner of my iPhone you can see that I have the battery percentage and if you go to general I'll prove that I have iPhone 4.0 Here's 4.0, and on Cydia, your Cydia should not look like this. Uh, it should look like the image that's on your screen right now. What you want to do is open that blank icon up, and it's going to see say reorganizing. Please wait till finished, and you're just going to leave it alone. Make sure your phone does not go to sleep. Just keep on tapping the screen so it does not go to sleep and just let it load because because that's what it's going to need to do and then it's going to lock your phone or iPod you're going to have to unlock it and go back to Cydia and let it do all this stuff at the top and do not worry for me it took uh, around 10 minutes to fix Cydia because Cydia servers are crazy because everyone's trying to do this at the same time so do not worry if you cannot get it working. Just keep on trying at it and you should get it working. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any problems, just leave it in the description below. Remember to be careful when doing this because this is still in beta, the Red Snow beta. So it might be a little glitchy. And if you found any problems while doing this, just leave them in the comments and I might be able to help you out. And also, the links to everything will be in the description.